excited to uh, be here for this event for Tom and Ann Karamanico and the Karamanico School in Cambodia. Uh, for me, education is everything. The only reason I'm mayor of the city of Philadelphia is because I was fortunate to have uh, parents and a grandmother and uh, other family members who pushed education, cared about education, and made sure that my sister and I uh, received a really good education. In 2006, the artist Anne Marble Caramonico and her husband Tom founded a middle school in rural Cambodia. Last Thursday night, Philadelphia's Rosenfeld Gallery hosted a fundraiser for that school along with an exhibition of Anne's art. 70% of the sales of her remarkable work will go towards helping the school and its mission to improve the lives of the children of a country subject to so much suffering over the past half century. My name is Sowat Pan. I am from Cambodia for 30 years now. Uh -huh. I live in, uh, in, in Philadelphia. Were you there during the, the bad years? Yes, I was there during the Khmer Rouge Pol Pot, I was there. And I got out from Cambodia in 1979. Pol Pot and his Khmer Rouge murdered a third of the population of Cambodia in the 1970s. Sovath Pen told me how he and others marched from the south of the country to the far north in order to escape. Many died crossing the mountains at the beginning of their trek. Others drowned in the river on the other side of the mountains. He spent years in refugee camps in Thailand before finally coming to America. Tom and I uh, went to Cambodia uh, on a tour of Southeast Asia a number of years ago. learning about the Khmer Rouge, which people of a certain age will remember. Hard on the heels of the Vietnam War, where they basically killed an entire generation. And during that time, they wiped out education. They wiped out religion, they wiped out libraries, museums, anything that had any real culture attached to it. It was very much still suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. So we said to ourselves, we have to do something. When we get home, we'll figure it out. And we found an organization called American Assistance for Cambodia, who we hooked up with to build this school. Their uh, objective is to build rural schools throughout Cambodia. So ours is one of those. So we went to dedicate it, and that's when our hearts really got stolen. We met the teachers and the families and the children and saw more and more and more needs. And so we have sustained our efforts there doing lots of different projects and hopefully it will continue on. I am not very articulate about my artwork but I will say that it comes from very deep inside. Most of the stuff has been very much informed by my Cambodia experiences. There's a stillness there is, you might say, a Buddhist quality about them. In the more abstract works, there are forms that have come from the countryside. In the figurative work, there is a suggestion of suffering, but some redemption. This is not the first time Richard Rosenfeld has used his gallery for philanthropic pursuits. 
I am honored to count him as a friend. Tom says that they make a little bit of hope in Cambodia. You make a little bit of hope here because people can see that other people are decent. And that means a lot to everybody here. I think it does. I think it does. In this world right now, we need that. We're so hungry for that. People need to know about it because it's, it's not news. It should be news. There are some really fabulous things happening in this world to bring up people yeah. and art is one of those one of many things but art is is a positive uplifting experience we're keeping the flame burning if you feel like helping out consider making a donation to the Carmonico school fund or even better buying one of Anne's beautiful artworks from the Rosenfeld Gallery in Old City, Philadelphia. And whether it's here in America or in Cambodia or anywhere else, uh, supporting high quality education uh, is really, really important. And I just want to commend and thank uh, Tom and Ann uh, for the great work that they're doing both here in Philadelphia and halfway around the world in Cambodia. Congratulations Tom and Ann.